it's story time. I thought it'd be fun to come on and tell you a little bit more about who I am and why I started Dabble and Dollop and why this business means so much to me. First, it's important to know that my dad was a cosmetic chemist and late in his career, when he was in his mid forties, he started a natural ingredient company um, and basically selling all the natural ingredients to the cosmetic and personal care industry. This was back in like 1987 when this was just sort of like becoming a movement, the natural ingredient thing. And um, I was actually right out of college, I was his third employee. It was super interesting learning about all of the various ingredients, the butters, the oils, the emulsifiers, the surfactants, um, just all of the different ingredients that are used in cosmetic and personal care formulation. So um, I just ended up falling in love with this business. And guys, I stayed 20 years working for my father. Um, that is not something that I ever thought I was going to do. Um, you know, my dad only had three people at his own company. I didn't think there was any place for me to begin with. Um, but joining that company and helping him grow and build this natural ingredient business was just an incredible experience and gave me so much knowledge about every little ingredient that's used in formulations, you know, how manufacturers work, decisions brands would make that I would see, you know, kind of like insider stuff. Uh, it was just an incredibly um, eye-opening experience and it's where I learned all about natural ingredients that are used in cosmetic and personal care formulations. The last five years um, that I worked there, I was actually the CEO, which was really incredible. And I got to like put my mark on the business. And one of the things that I did was, because um, I had started having little children. I think I had like twins that were four and three at the time. And I decided it'd be really fun if we created a event at the office on Take Your Kids to Work Day, where we brought in all of our employees' children. So imagine like kids like, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, up to about 15 years old. And we would create this little like mock laboratory where we gave the kids all these like little white coats and goggles and, you know, set them up in like a little laboratory setting and kind of showed them, you know, this is phase A and phase B and, you know, mix these two together and a little bit of stirring and it starts to become a lotion. So that we would let them make their own lotions, make their own bath bombs, hand sanitizer, Every year we would switch it up and it was just so much fun having employees see um, their children light up and declare that they're like little scientists. And of course, their favorite part of that day was mixing up the products and customizing the scent at the end. That was a little bit of my aha moment for Dabble and Dollop. So in 2017, um, my dad had a couple companies very interested in acquiring his business. And though it was quite bittersweet, um, he ended up selling that business. And I actually uh, ran the whole transaction and uh, it was wild. Um, I wasn't ready to be done with my career at that point. I had just became CEO. I was kind of in my prime and I felt like, um, gosh, you know, that idea I had from the kids science day, uh, when we brought the kids to the office, like maybe I could find a way to bottle up that magic, um, for kids. I noticed that at the time, like most of the baby brands were really very like white and clinical looking, either clear or white packaging, very focused on baby. And my own kids at the time, like I said, were like four and five years old and they did not want to use like products that said like baby on it. And so I just thought, why isn't there something better for this age group um, when kids start to, you know, get curious and have a little more independence and, you know, their tastes change. They're kind of not really interested in a chamomile lavender you know mom-centered bath anymore and so that was the idea behind dabble and dollop making something that would inspire kids to engage with their products more and you know at the time my kids were super into slime um leaving it everywhere in the house and i loved it and hated it at the same time and i just thought 
hmm, I wonder if we can bring that same kind of like sensory activity to the tub by creating like various products and different singular natural scents and different textures so that kids can like mix together um, different products to create, you know, new recipe ideas. So that's the idea with dabble and dollop, right? You take a dabble of this, a dollop of that, and you can customize bath time. Maybe like a dollop of our strawberry gel or a dollop of our vanilla whip and voila, strawberry shortcake shampoo. Followed by maybe a dabble of blueberry gel and a dabble of lemon gel to create a blueberry lemonade body wash. And the fun goes on and on. And that was, was the basic idea was, yes, it's simple, it's, it's, taking the simplicity of bath products and literally just saying we want to encourage you to mix and create and get your hands dirty but really super clean and you know engage with and experience like the joys of of aromas and um creation and you know awaken that little inner scientist or chef or mixologist whatever you want to call it and this is where my ingredient background really came in um, because I used to be in the business of selling ingredients, right? Natural ingredients, the more, the better. Um, but when it came to formulating products that I knew children were gonna use, uh, my own children, I really wanted to keep it very simple. I'm sure you're aware of this, but the cosmetic and personal care industry is dominated by some pretty savvy marketing professionals and a lot of the ingredients that you see on the back of labels, a lot of the extracts and oils, a lot of that stuff is just sprinkled in and really isn't providing any value at at all. And, you know, a lot of products, even natural ones, can be riddled with um, impurities or with allergens. And so for me, it was like, hmm, I'm going to launch a business and a brand that is all about using less ingredients. And let me tell you, the marketing people at the time who I ran my ideas by were like, Stephanie, you are never gonna be able to sell that. Like, how are you gonna promote the products? Like everybody tells all about these great ingredients that are used in products. If you only have six or eight or nine ingredients, what are you gonna talk about? Well, that's what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about this idea that less is more, especially when you're sitting in a bathtub and you're four years old, just sitting in a bathtub with dozens and dozens of ingredients, like for what purpose? For clever marketing? So I kind of went against the grain and decided to do it my way, which was going to be this less is more type of philosophy. And because my background was all in natural ingredients, of course I have a love of, of natural ingredients, naturally derived ingredients. Um, and I only used the ingredients that were produced and manufactured here in the United States, uh, where I knew for sure, without a doubt, that these were expert and ethical manufacturers. Um, and that was something really different. Most people, when they formulate their products, um, they're just getting, you know, 60, 80 different ingredients from all over the world. And then talking about how wonderful and natural they are, but that just did not sit right with me. I just felt like if you're selling a natural story and you're telling people you have natural products, um, you know, having, you know, 80 different flights and diesel container ships, bringing in ingredients from all over the world didn't really make a lot of sense to me. So I really wanted to create a co-located U.S.-based supply chain um, that would be centered in in sustainability and really being mindful of where the ingredients came from. So fast forward a few years and we have won the Baby List Best Body Wash for Babies uh, with our Vanilla Whip. We won the Parents Magazine um, Award for Best Skin Care with our Honeydew and our Coconut Body Washes. And then we got the coveted Good Housekeeping Award, um, which was like mind-blowing and just incredible this business means so much to me um it's really the culmination of my my life's work um it's everything i knew it's all the ingredients and i know that's what parents care about um and it really honors children and puts them front and center in the design process in creating something that's really special for them that they deserve um and so you know, that's, that's my, that's why I love this company so much. It's all about 
creativity and fun and joy and, and making those moments.